aloha and welcome to my spiritual frequency lesson. This lesson is going to be extremely important for you to know, understand. There's a lot of good info that's going to make probably a lot of sense, but it's very important to the things that I'm going to be teaching you the next few days and or things regarding your spiritual health, money, relationships, that sort of thing. It's very important. So we're going to talk about spiritual frequency and what that actually is. As you can see, I have a lot on here to explain. So you know that you're born with DNA. That's something that you're taught and it's something within your knowledge base. So that's already there. One thing that people don't realize is when you're born with DNA, clearly coming from your parents here, right? you are also born within this DNA is something else. There is an actual frequency. And this frequency goes through all the cells of the body, everything. And the reason that this is important on many levels is because the frequency which goes through all the cells carries info. And that's really, really important for you to know. So when you're born, your parents' DNA combine and along with the frequency that they're carrying, this then goes over to the child or you into what I call your 3D body, okay? That's really important because you need to understand that there's a lot more going on energetically with your family and your parents than just the DNA factor. So we have the DNA, we have the frequency, the parents make you, then you're born with a 3D body. The other aspect of this that is also very important is you also come in with a spiritual body, right? That's how you give the 3D body life. So while mom is creating your three, the 3D body during pregnancy, you come down with your spiritual body and that's how the 3D body functions, okay? So the way that the frequency works as far as that goes is there's also a frequency that comes in with you with your spiritual body. This is your own frequency. The spiritual body frequency that you are born with, the one that your soul, the one that gives your 3D body life, this is your personal frequency. And this is made up of many, many lifetimes. Again, there's a lot of info that's carried in there. So experiences, things of that nature, even trauma points or past life situations, memories, this info is all within the spiritual body frequency. The interesting thing about this frequency is what's different about it than the DNA is a frequency is a live transmission, okay? So this live transmission is similar to you having an antenna. You are consistently receiving a live transition from your family frequency, the one in which you are born with into the 3D body, and you are consistently receiving a live transmission from your spiritual frequency over here, which is the one that you were born with. And this is super important as you learn to develop your spiritual awareness and understand why that you might be feeling very anxious, why your health might not feel so good, why are you depressed, what is happening? You really need to understand a lot about these two bodies and how they work together. Not just how they work together, but how we can enhance them working together. Where can we help this connection so that things are moving flawlessly and nicely because for the most part most people have this separation where they're predominantly working with the 3d body they're kind of ignoring the spiritual body because they don't know how to integrate the two and they don't even realize that the two make up one whole of who you are 
And because of that, this just makes more sense. It's what we're taught about. You're taught about your physical senses. You're taught about your DNA. You're taught about all of these things that you can touch, feel, hold. It, it makes sense. The spiritual body and its frequency is something that is not making sense to a lot of people because it's something you're not visually seeing. However, without this, this would not be happening. You cannot have one without the other on earth. You need a 3D body to be on earth, but the full operation starts here. So this is very important not to ignore, very important. Now, this is another frequency map that I think that will help you to understand this a little bit more, right? Because there are frequencies everywhere. We have the spiritual realm, which is consistently emitting a frequency, and that is the highest frequency that there is. We have an earth frequency, which we are also receiving information from, because remember, these frequencies, they all hold info. And two bodies usually receive two frequencies or different types of frequencies. They're not always coming from the same place. Or what I mean by that is you are sensing them with the other bodies. So while the spiritual frequency, the spiritual body is the one that really feels a lot of the frequencies that would be coming from the spiritual realm, that's primarily a spiritual body frequency. That's where the spiritual senses will discover it. They will acknowledge it. It receives the info. We also have the 3D body receiving info from things such as the family frequency. So many times you, when you're saying, oh, this energy feels good or that person energetically feels good to me or this situation or this group of people, this vibe feels a certain way, your 3D body is typically picking up the info and the information typically from people energy. And then we have an earth frequency, which is primarily sensed by the, the 3D body, the physical body, because this is very intricately connected, okay? So this makes sense for the 3D body. You feel a certain way when you're in nature with the sun, with the, the fresh air, with the ocean. It, you can feel the effects that that has on your 3D body. Now, the interesting thing about all of this and then I'm going to just remind you of a few things, a few points that are going to be important in here, is you typically will not have found your, yourself in this class or taking this lesson if you didn't have an above average frequency, which is what I, I call when you get into the healer's frequency. So if you find yourself listening to this info, most likely this is you right here. You're at least a healer's frequency on the scale of one to 10. One being the lowest frequency, 10 being the highest frequency. And I'm gonna get into a little bit more on, on this type of thing on the next lesson because this is very important as we get into the great divide and we get into some other stuff about protection and why you need to protect the body, this scale is gonna be important. But for this lesson, I'm just gonna do a refresher here. You need to understand how the frequencies work. We have the parents that are born in and, and create, or not born, but they create your birth. And with the DNA that they use to create you also comes a family frequency. See here? The family frequency does get passed to the 3D body. This family frequency, unlike the DNA, stays live. It's a live transmission. When you're born, you come down with a spiritual frequency. This spiritual frequency holds info from all of your past lives. 
from who you are on a sp in the spiritual realm, on a soul level. The spiritual frequency also holds all of your info. So it's very interesting how we are gaining these two frequencies that are live transmissions. So we're kind of like a human antenna. The other thing that you want to be really aware of when it comes to your 3D body and your spiritual body frequency is if you are having health issues, which is really not along this challenge. However, I'm going to post a link below because this becomes very important when it comes to your physical health and how you're managing that. And if you're having chronic illnesses, this will 100% come into play. And it even goes back further than this because when people are born, they will take on the family frequency until they are old enough that their own spiritual identity and spiritual frequency will then come through and become dominant, hopefully, right? This is a hopefully your own spiritual frequency will become dominant over your family frequency. There are some times, however, that this stays dominant within your life and we don't really want that. That's not a great thing for your family frequency to stay dominant as your dominant frequency through your lifetime. This causes us a lot of problems if we do not unlink from this and then utilize our own frequency as the dominant frequency. This will cause us a lot of issues. And so we really want to be aware of this. And if you're having a lot of health issues, I guarantee you it lands somewhere within here. And that's where the spiritual mapping technique comes in that I'll post below that is a whole different thing, but it's a, it's a healing um, thing that I do, an energetic thing that I do to work on this issue right here. And it's been insanely successful, but you can check that out on your own. So hopefully as you grow older, and it, this is not like an age, you could be dominant in your spiritual frequency at two, you can be dominant in your spiritual frequency at 18, at 25, at six. This doesn't have an age that you primarily switch from one to the other, but hopefully you're doing this switch somewhere in your teens, 16 to 18, that sort of thing. And so understanding that you're working with these two bodies is going to be extremely important takeaway from this lesson moving forward and that you should be taking this away moving forward, actually forever after this lesson, because we need these two bodies working together. They naturally want to work together. However, we will tend to bottleneck the process, especially when we don't understand that these two bodies crave to work together. They're built to work together, okay? But if we don't understand that and we start hindering spiritual information, the spiritual aspect of who we are, we start denying that part of ourselves as being real or legitimate. And then the 3D body becomes primary. We have an imbalance. And this is why we're going to be working on alignment because that's a problem. We also don't want to be so heavily into the spiritual body that we're ignoring 3D body stuff, um, signs or just, you know, connecting with earth energy and people. That's also not a good thing. But most people don't have that issue. Most people are so grounded within their 3D body that they just basically ignore the spiritual body. Oh, it doesn't exist. Don't feel connected. Maybe they don't know how to feel connected. And that's also what this course is going to be about is l l teaching you how to connect the two, teaching you how to feel the spiritual body a little bit more and why that you need to have this balance within your life so that the money flow, your relationships, your health will really thrive when these bodies are working together. That's the optimal environment for you to be thriving in all aspects of your life. So this is going to be really important. But in order to understand that moving forward and understand what we're looking for and how to utilize, how to not only utilize that, but also how to protect ourselves when we get in this situation, because being a human antenna 
is not awesome when you don't understand what that means, especially if you're dealing with a healer's frequency, which most likely you are since you found yourself here. When you're dealing with a healer's frequency, this human antenna, it's going to be extremely important for you to understand what's all happening with the bigger picture here, because you can still be ignoring your spiritual body. Absolutely be an antenna because you cannot shut that off. It's a live transmission. And you need to understand if you're just even concentrating on the 3D body, why, why is this messing me up? What live transmission am I getting that's maybe um, I'm not seeing or, or I'm not working well together with this. So we're going to talk about that next. And there will be some more. Info. Congratulations on finishing a lesson one of my spiritual boot camp five day challenge. I have four more incredible lessons just waiting for you. And it's entirely free. My name is Jennifer O'Neill and I am an energetic practitioner and spiritual coach. If you would like to continue on with the next four lessons, I'm going to post a link for you below and you can go ahead and take it. And there is such good info in there. I think that you're going to love it. So I hope to see you there. Like I said, I'm going to post the link below. Comment and let me know if you have any questions. And until then, have the most amazing day. Aloha. Bye.